Heat tape, heat cable, same thing. The difference comes in the type of cable. And here, I've got a thousand foot roll of self-regulating cable. So this cable, it adjusts the heat output based on outdoor temperature. Now, a misconception out there is that it turns itself on or off. It doesn't do that. So if anybody's told you that, it's incorrect. It only adjusts the heat output. Now, this cable can be applied to various applications, roof and gutter application, pipe trace. It can also be applied, and this particular one is listed for sprinkler systems in buildings to prevent freezing on the pipes. Really cool product. Self-regulating cable is actually measured by the heat output at a particular set temperature. So this one that I'm holding is a five watt at 50 degrees. So when it's 50 degrees outside, it's gonna produce five watts per foot. Now, you can get cable that is eight watts at 50 degrees. You can get cable at 10 watts at 50 degrees. You can get even hotter cable than that, and you can get some that's specifically designed for chemical and oil resistant situations, or even explosion proof containment systems for oil refineries or any other kind of application where you cannot have uh, electrical currents available. Self-regulating cable has quite a few advantages and one is the heat output and the way it functions. So when you get into colder temperatures, this product you can actually rely on because it'll produce that extra heat needed. Now another advantage is the customization. As you can see this piece is cut off. You can actually customize this product to fit your layout plans on your roof or the pipes and T lines off in various directions. Now, some other things too that's really nice is you get a 10 year warranty on this particular product. Make sure you get that in writing, but the life expectancy on this product, not just 10 years warranty, but this will last you 20 years if it's installed correctly. Self-regulating cable does have some disadvantages, and one is it's not necessarily your do-it-yourself or project. As you can see, these ends are cut, and you have to be able to terminate these correctly. If you don't have the skilled training or knowledge as far as how to work with this properly, often your system will end up dying within the first two years. We've seen that happen with electricians, roofers, people that are inexperienced working with this, their systems fail way before even the warranty is up. So it's not exactly your do-it-yourselfer, you do need to be qualified to install this product. Now, another disadvantage is the price. It is more expensive to put this in. But, like most products, you get what you pay for. Another item is electrical. To do its increase and decrease in heat, it needs more electrical availability in a way, so that one, it can power up correctly, and it can operate correctly. Now, if you're a builder, keep in mind, most homes are not adequately wired to handle self-regulating cable, yet most people choose to go with this because they want to invest in something that they can rely on. So if you're a builder, please reach out to us. We'd love to work with you on designing the homes and placing the power in the right areas and helping you understand what needs to go into that. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Don't forget, if you have additional information you need, check out our website at wasatchheatcable.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.